Mishmatch 196 here with another very review, this time of the Aliens vs. Predators Samurai Predator. So you go, from Sideshow. So yeah, so um, this figure was given to me to review from Toy Anxiety, a great toy store, definitely check them out. I mean, they've got Aliens and Predators, Marvel, DC, Transformers, G.I. Joe, they've got it all. Definitely go check out their site, uh, ToyAnxiety.com, the link will be in the description. So yeah, so this figure just looks awesome, just very cool, and I uh, cannot wait to get it out of the package. As you can see, it is in like a, kind of like a Chinese shipping crate almost, it kind of looks like. Um, you've got some great artwork of the Predator's face on the front there, Samurai Predator it says there, and uh, just some really cool, you got some Chinese writing on the side, and uh, on the top it also has something else, let me show you. So here's what's on the top of the box. It's actually really cool. It's kind of like a gold circle, and uh, it's got some design in it. It takes a little while to make out what it is. Of course, you have an idea of what it is, um, but once you look at it for a little while, you can definitely tell it is obviously an alien uh, battling a predator. So as you can see, you've got the alien right here in his arm, and then you've got the predator. Here's his like uh, hair or tentacles, and then here's his arm and stuff. It's actually a really neat detail. I really like that, so I definitely thought it was worthy of showing you guys. Very cool. Alright, here we have the Predator outside package looking spectacular, but uh, before we go into the figure, let's go over his accessories. Alright, as far as hands, he does come with four right hands as well as three left hands. Um, he comes with a fist for each side, two open hands for each side, and uh, as far as the right, he comes with two open hands, one with a smaller grip, or uh, two, um, two closed hands for gripping things, one with a smaller grip, one with a little bit bigger grip, uh, because he does come with multiple swords with different size grips, so um, that's very nice to have. As well as on the left side, he does come with another gripping hand. Uh, this one is more to hold the um, the tongue of the uh, alien's head, or it can also be uh, used for holding swords. It just doesn't have uh, as good as a grip as the uh, right hands. So yeah, very nice. And I'll sh I'll show you a couple of these guys, a couple of the hands in uh, his arm, uh, pretty soon. He comes with two different mouth arrangements, um, four pieces in all, and uh, of course each piece. Two, you have to use two, one goes on each side, very neat. Uh, one's more of a closed kind of, a, those clampers, whatever you want to call them, and then the other one more open. Uh, you'll definitely, you've already seen the closed ones, and I'll definitely show you the open ones right now. He also comes with a red mouth guard, which is really nice, really well designed, and pretty simple, and uh, it looks really cool. Has the teeth coming through it, and I'll show how that works. He also comes with this helmet, this samurai looking helmet. Really neat. I do like the look of it. It does have a lot of detail, and uh, it, the top part does come off fairly easy. There's a little metal strip back there, so this is a magnetized piece, and uh, it makes it a little bit easier to get on, so really cool. Here he is with the mouth guard in. As you can see, really cool. It's very simple to put on. It just it fits right on. It really uh, perfect fit. Looks great. I like how you can see his regular teeth in the middle there, and then you can see his big spiky teeth um, just on the sides. Looks really cool. Pretty menacing. I do like it a lot. And uh, yeah, it only works, of course, for the mouth that has the closed um, kind of clampers, whatever you want to call them. Uh, it doesn't work for the other one, but still very nice. Really like it. It adds a really cool look to it. So here's all of his swords and uh, sword accessories. As you can see, uh, there is quite a lot, which is actually really neat. Uh, of course, right here, you do have one of the sheaths so that you can put the sword in. Very cool. It does have some straps and hooks and stuff, so you can uh, attach it to them. Uh, the sword that fits into this one is right here. And it goes in very nicely, as you can see, and comes out very nice. He does have this sword, which is really cool. This one is plastic. It does uh, have uh, some straps at the end. Really nice detail. When you come up here, this is where the great detail is. It is kind of uh, battle damaged, as well as you do have some of the goo from the alien's blood. Really neat. I think that this was a great sword to give you, and uh, really fantastic. And then with this sword, this sword, uh, the end here is plastic and does have those straps. And then uh, the actual sword, it does feel uh, like metal. It is pretty heavy, and it is really nice. I I do love it. It does have a great shine to it, and um, this is definitely the uh, the nicest sword. This is uh, just a nice plain sword, which is just really cool. And I do like how they made it um, kind of metal. If if it is metal, I think it is though. And then he does come with just a bunch, uh, just uh, how many four swords just uh, strapped together. Really nice. They're all sheathed, and they cannot be pulled out. Unfortunately, it would have been kind of cool if they were individual swords that can be pulled out. Um, this red one is definitely unique. It does have the longest handle and then the longest blade. The only thing that uh, doesn't make sense of this is it, it's it would be impossible. 
to take the sword out because the bigger end is on the side and then it gets skinnier. So it would be impossible to take it out or put it in, but uh, but still, it's, it's really neat. It gives a really cool look and uh, just a really uh, unique sword uh, to go on his back. Um, these can strap on his back and they just hook right on. I'll show you how that works right now. So here it is attached to his back. Uh, really, it's very simple to do. I'll show you how that works, but first, just so you can see how it looks from all angles. Really nice. You've got some uh, sword handles sticking up in the back. Really cool. And uh, this does swivel, so you can position how you want it. But it, it just it comes right out there. It's just a little clip there. And really, all you do is take the handle of the uh, the red sword and just put it in sideways, and then just turn it, and then it it'll just stay right in, and it can swivel. So that's very nice. He has an assortment of three blades on his arm. They look really cool. Uh, you can position them in different ways. Really like the design of them. They actually look fantastic, which is really neat. They all have hinges at the end, so you can, you know, position them all together like that, spread them out a bit, or just uh, put them back on the arm. They look really nice, and they just, uh, they lay pretty good on the arm there. Really nice. Really nice. He also has a little shoulder cannon, really nice. It's got some good detail in it. It has some orange highlights and a uh, red uh, line right there. Looks really cool. As you can see, it is on a ball joint. It just it just pops right into his uh, shoulder uh, holder. I'll show you how that. Here it is on a shoulder. It goes on really easy. It looks really cool. And uh, it can just be turned just in really any way that you want. It has some great positioning and just really nice. I do like the red little highlights at the end there. Very cool. So the figure itself, very cool, very impressive, uh, really nice. So, let's just go over it really quick. As you can see, very cool. Love the way that the mouth is held on and the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the little clampers like spiders. Very neat, really like it. Of course, his hair has tremendous detail and it really looks cool. It almost looks wet, which is uh, just a really neat effect, very glossy, which is really cool. Really liking it. And then uh, he does have a bunch of uh, shoulder plating and everything. I'm not sure about the shoulders, but I know that this piece and that the arm gauntlets can be taken off. I, you probably can take off all the uh, all the accessories, but um, as far as I know, those are the only two things. He does kind of have this like little net right here, really cool. It is made of real material. Looks nice. It's got some uh, some green highlighting in it. Looks cool. Really do like the abs and stuff that you can see in there. Just great detail all around. Of course, you do expect it from sideshow, but uh, still very nice. They never let you down. Very cool. In the back here, of course, you do have the clip to hold on these swords, as well as this uh, just kind of ring right here. Just goes down. And yeah, you even get some like stitching work in the armor. Looks great. So yeah. So now let's just go down. So here he is a little lower. As you can see, he does kind of have these panels, kind of like samurai-ish. Uh, they look really cool. And uh, I do really like it. Of course, you do have real material that is kind of like shredded at the end there. Gives it a really neat effect. I really do like that go on the back here. Looks cool. You've got a nice big um, just armor plating. Looks fantastic. One thing that I really liked about this figure that I did not know about until I had it in my hand and uh, was just super impressed with, although it's something little, it is really neat. He does have this, which is just attached to his belt, and it is um, the uh, the little uh, tons of the aliens with the little mouths on them. Really cool. And these have some great detail on them. As you can see, the tons themselves have just fantastic detail. And then it's like the ends are just dipped in gold. It looks fantastic. I really thought that that was a really awesome feature, like his trophies. And uh, and they did it well because it's very well sculpted. So yeah, I really like that. So now let's just go down to the lower. So here are the legs. He does have some uh, armor plating on uh, on the bottom, and I do kind of like it. They've got some gold. Uh, they've got some green highlights, kind of like it's a little older, which is really neat looking. As well as the feet, they're done very nicely. Of course, you've got all the uh, the nails and everything, and he's kind of got like a sandals on. Really neat. It's just they did everything they could to make this guy as samurish as possible. Really like it. I thought that that was a tremendous detail and uh, really nice. So here's his base, and I have to say, this has got to be probably the coolest thing about this figure. Um, it is probably the best base I have ever seen come with a toy, and uh, that's that's just honest. I love it. So here it is. So as you can see, the base is really nice. Take away the uh, detail and what's on top of it. The actual base is really nice. It's kind of got like a wood kind of look to it. It's really good. It's, it's a full circle and everything, and it's really nice. It just, even if the alien wasn't on this, this is a really nice base. It is actually really cool. And then on top of it, uh, not looking at the alien, you do have this uh, kind of uh, kind of dirt area, kind of rocks, really cool. 
I do really like it. And on here, you do have the uh, the place where you can peg in the uh, the cradle, which is really nice. So overall, the detail is great. And then you come up to the alien. The alien on it is spectacular. I can't say enough. The alien is just super cool. The way that he almost looks like he's trying to crawl away and when he got his head cut off looks fantastic. Really love it. The uh, the purple that they used in it is very translucent. Uh, trans oh, sorry, translucent. It looks fantastic. I love the kind of gold fingertips. As long as you've got this, I don't know what this is. It kind of looks like a ton, but I have no idea. Um, and just the great detail. I mean, you have Hot Toys detail in the aliens, which is really neat. They uh, really went all out. I love right here where his head has been severed. As you can see, you do have the um, the spine or the head spine going through it. Looks really cool. You, it is. You can go in there, as well as there is all this green gloop at the end, which looks great. And then just throughout the head, you can see the rest of his uh, skeleton in there. Looks great. Then you come to the back, and you've got tremendous detail in the alien himself. Just all the little details and everything. And then these, of course, you do have to peg these in. It's very easy, and they look great. And then you've got this kind of like a, you know, like a little spine back here coming up, and you do have to peg that in as well. So overall, this has got to be the coolest base I have ever seen come with a figure. I just, I love it. When I saw it online, I was like, wow, that was cool, but uh, when I got it in person, it was ten times better, just really fantastic. And uh, the head that comes with the alien is right here. The head is actually very nice. You do have some great detail. I mean, this is sideshow detail just for a little accessory. Really fantastic. I'm loving it. And then he does have the tongue that's sticking out. Looks really cool with the little mouth at the end. And the skeleton in there, you can see the skeleton go through. Looks fantastic. And at the end there, just all the goop and all the uh, alien guts and uh, ins insides are just spilling out. Really fantastic. As you can kind of see how this would fit if the alien had not been uh, brutally murdered. Very cool. Um, just, I mean, just even putting the alien's head on the base right here, if you don't want him to hold it, looks really awesome. I have to say, the coolest base I have ever seen hands down. Here is a full look at the Predator on his face. As you can see, I had to move back way far to get the whole picture because he is a big figure. And uh, yeah, so let me just go in really quick so you can see. The so here's his base. So to, in order to have him stand on his base, because there is this huge alien in the middle, he does have to stand spread legged. Um, here is one spot for the foot, and then you come over here, here's the other spot. So his leg does have to go through the two tentacle-like things of um, the alien, and then has to reach on the other side. So pretty cool. And uh, he is supported very nicely. I mean, he doesn't have the cradle in right now, and he is standing great. So the cradle is just an extra support that he doesn't even need, so that's just fantastic. So um, he fits really great and he looks so cool on this base, really great. Here he is holding the severed alien head, really cool, really like the way that he holds it by the tongue, it looks really neat, I'm just getting closer on that. Really cool, I really like it and then you've got kind of the mouth there, it kind of looks like it's screaming. Really nice, I mean I did go over this head before, it looks fantastic and then you do have the goo dripping down out of it, really neat. I think that this is actually a very cool look. So the Samurai Predator is very cool, really unique. That's one big thing about it, it is a very unique looking Predator out of all of your Predators because it is a Samurai based one, which is really neat. I'm not quite sure why they decided to do the Samurai. Uh, if I'm definitely uh, almost 100% positive he's not in any of the movies. And uh, I think that this is kind of like an expanded universe type of take on the Predator. Really cool, it adds a really, just I'm going to say it again, unique look. And uh, it definitely uh, pops on your shelf. I mean, uh, if you've got a nice little alien dis uh, display. You've got him in the middle on his base. People are just going to be looking at that one because it is definitely super cool. has a very different look with the samurai and then the base is spectacular. I absolutely love the base. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it a thousand more times. Uh, I'd even recommend if you are um, like you don't have the money to buy the full Predator and everything uh, it just buying the base for like 80 bucks on eBay or something I mean it's so worth it. It just it really is cool and just adds a really cool and unique look to your collection. So overall, I'm really loving this figure. I really like it. And just want to say uh, thanks again for Toy Anxiety. Um, they uh, let me review this guy. Really cool. So definitely go check Toy Anxiety out. I mean, Marvel, DC, Predators and Aliens, Green, uh, Green Lantern, you know, G.I. Joe, they've got it all. Check them out. 
as I said, links in the description. So yeah. So overall, this is a spectacular Predators figure, a must-have for any uh, Predators fan, and it's just a gem in your Predators collection. I highly recommend it.